I have to decide what to do about Granny's house. Granny's house is a cooperative game wherein players must travel together across this board here from their home to Granny's home with a gift. First thing players must do is decide on which four items they're going to take along with them on their journey. Then they take turns rolling the die and moving along until they get to these obstacles here. Once at an obstacle, they have to determine how they could use an object that they have along with them to deal with the obstacle. So they could say, for instance, that they're going to put a box on the bear, or they're going to put a box on themselves and sneak past the bear, or they're going to catch the bear's spirit in the box, and so the bear is unable to wake up. The imaginative use of objects to overcome obstacles may remind some of you of a later Jim Dacope design, Princess, which is why, and it does me as well, which is why I'm having a hard time deciding what to do about Granny's house. If the players make their way to an obstacle and they're unable to figure out how to defeat it, they go down the chute to the next obstacle, and if they're unable to defeat that with whatever object they have, they go further down the chute until they come to an obstacle that they're able to defeat. And the chutes and ladders mechanism is not one I really appreciate. It's, uh, I, I, the game doesn't, can't really end in a lot. You're either going to make it to Granny's house or you're going to give up in frustration because you keep running across sleeping bears and suns and trees that you have to deal with. When you do finally make it to Granny's house, there is a special surprise there, which I think is probably uh, one of the main things that this game has that Princess does not. That and, uh, you know, the feel is different. It's more of a traipsing through the woods with um, obstacles that will not spell doom and gloom, though mainly inconvenience you. Um, it has that, and it has a, a pre-planning that maybe Princess doesn't have. But the thing it has that I think speaks most to it, um, or in its favor, is the special surprise when you get to Granny's house. That comes with the game. And it's a good game. I've played it with children. They enjoy it, especially four-year-olds. I feel like it works really well with four-year-olds. Um, unlike Princess, however, I don't know if it would work as well with adults, at least not on multiple occasions. I could play Princess with the same group of adults again and again and have a variety of different experiences, partially because it's more condensed. It doesn't have that rangy kind of wandering of the chutes and ladders board. Um, and also, the objects and the obstacles seem more general in a way so that one can come up with more ways for them to interact. However, that said, Granny's has some, has some very interesting objects. So here is um, one of the objects from Granny ha Granny's house. It's a hat and a trumpet. Um, interestingly, here is an object from Princess. It's a horse. Okay, They are the same size and I think you know, when I when I set out to acquire Granny's house, I actually requested it with great passion from some unknown individual. I had this in mind, and I think it's probably what I must ultimately do with the game. And that is take the components and place it in my princess box because it's like an expansion for the game built in. Can I won't even, you know, starting the game, you won't even know which objects you have placed down on the buildings. But I'll put the board in the box too, because there is something special someone can find when they finally get as a group to Granny's house. And that's not something the princess can give you. And I, I think it's kind of sad that there are two games that have this, this sort of, uh, this very solid mechanism of object, obstacle, what to do, you decide. Um, thing going on because I think Princess does it better but Granny's house is still a good game if you pick it up if you ha if you see it and you can pick it up pick it up if you have a choice between the two and you only want to get one I would get Princess Granny's house